Hello everyone, Abri here and welcome back to another speed build here in The Sims 4. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to start making content again for The Sims. I know I've been absent for a while and uh, this is my attempt at getting back into the game. So, this is the cave house, modern cave house. Um, and uh, yeah, it's actually a request by one of you guys. So if you don't know, I have a Discord page. There's a link in the description down below, so go join it. On that Discord page, I have a lot of different channels on my server. So one of the channels is for Simspiration, as we have called it. And uh, that is for you guys to send inspirational pictures, ideas, whatever you might think could be cool for me to build in the future and uh, this was one idea by Witchery Sims which is an amazing uh, supporter of the channel as well so thank you so much for that. Uh, she's also from Australia so I kind of have, even though I'm, I'm gay, I have a crush on her accent so <laughs> yeah. But uh, she wrote in the Simspiration channel on my Discord server uh, a cave build with a modern interior modern cave build I believe she she called it um, and uh, yeah I really thought that was an interesting idea so I'm also while you're watching this working on another build uh, which is still a secret but it's gonna be huge so stay tuned for that but this cave build is a lot of fiffling around I mean the outside the exterior here took twice as long to do than the interior which is um you know interesting <laughs> it took a very long time but i really wanted to make it look like a cave so at the moment we're working on the opening here um i really wanted to have a natural looking opening into the cave uh because we are going to try and hide the front door and uh, we're also going to hide the windows somewhat. So I hid them as much as I could without actually taking away all the natural light that could come into the build. Because bringing in natural light in a house that is basically on the ground like this one is very important because it makes you feel like you, you aren't on the ground. And uh, I knew I wanted to have windows in this build as well. A big window so you could look outside from the inside without feeling like you were on the ground so I put in these windows we're gonna swap some of them out because uh, yeah we're working on angles here which is again I don't know why I do that I always do that I keep working on angles and then I get pissed off that it's so difficult to to furnish on angles because stuff don't fit and uh, yeah, it was just a whole big thing. Um, I was actually talking to Simproved and Gifmo, Frankie, Frankie Valerie, while I was building this build on Discord. Uh, because yeah, sometimes we just hang out with each other and uh, talk about like literally nothing. Just hanging out, having a good time. But um, I think it turned out really cool. So as you can see now, there's tons and tons of rocks going into the place uh, and that's because I'm trying at the moment to hide the fact that we have windows uh, when we have these small stops like this it's because I'm uh, maybe talking to <laughs> to the people in discord uh, or I might be putting on some music or whatever I might be doing but we are going to try and hide the windows as much as possible uh, we're also going to choose a wallpaper for the walls that kind of makes the build disappear even more into the surrounding area and once we start actually uh, putting in plants as well it really comes together because I wanted it to look like a natural hill side um, with the cave opening as the main front entrance. So I feel like we really achieved that. Uh, and it's actually really difficult to watch or uh, watch slash see the entrance um, from the front because we kind of made like this um, 
swooping half circle motion thing with the rocks, so it's kind of still hidden. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, I tucked the terrain up around the walls as well, and was just uh, I wanted to put in some plants here just so I could get a feeling of what I actually wanted to do with the plants because at the moment, this task is very tedious putting in all of these rocks but I know that you guys like to see every single thing that I do just to get an idea of how I do stuff and get ideas and inspiration for yourself so that's totally fair so I left it all in uh, and I just started putting rocks all around I can maybe talk a bit about while we're doing this tedious work what I'm currently working on as well so the reason that I've been absent if you didn't watch my last building video is because in Denmark we have uh, these things called confirmations which is something I believe the greater part of the world has but it's when 18 reaches a certain age I believe it's uh, 12 or 13 or something and uh, they have to renounce in church that they believe in God yes that's a whole thing and uh, in Denmark it's a whole big thing, mostly the children does it because their grandparents want you to, or whatever, at least that's the main reason I did it. Yeah, I, I actually don't know why I did it, to be honest, because I do not believe in God, but I did it, uh, I believe, to, um, to do it with my friends as well. But that's a whole big thing. Seeing that I work in the restaurant industry and I work at a hotel at the moment, we have tons of these confirmation parties, which means that we have to make the food for it. So we have tons of these uh, confirmation parties, which means I'm working a whole heck of a lot at the moment uh, and don't have that much spare time. Which unfortunately is taking away from my Sims and YouTube channel career, but I'm trying to get back into it here. I have to um, just spend a bit of my spare time on it then and uh, hopefully people won't get mad, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm currently working on a huge Japanese monastery, which is actually a Buddhist, I believe it's a Buddhist monastery in Japan, so it's a real one, and I'm trying to recreate that. I'm also working on some drawings and some sketches on some Greek stuff, uh, because as you know, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, really great game by the way, and uh, I also love the architecture in that game, so there's some stuff I want to try to recreate in The Sims as well. So I have stuff plants, also let's plays and stuff like that, but this content is gonna be a bit slow coming, but I will be putting out content, I promise. As I've been babbling on about the future of the channel, we have started putting in tons of plants and we're almost done actually putting in plants, and as you can see, I wanted to hide the windows a bit more here, I thought they were just too, too visible, but when you look at at it from certain angles like this one here and from the other one it really does look like a sloping hill uh, which I think just looks really awesome and the only giveaway that there is an entrance is the terrain paint but I don't know I really like how it looked it really just fit into the whole space uh, and the plants I tried to use plants that I could see in my surroundings as I always do to make it blend in even more Going into the build here, this is a fairly small build, um, because the majority of the work was done outside, it didn't actually take me that long to do the inside, so inside the build here we are going modern, because that was the request, and uh, I, was, uh, I was asking Fry what, what she thought I could do for a color, because I when I go modern in The Sims, I feel like it's very, very easy to just go with a color that you know works. In my case, that is blue and yellow, because I know that works in The Sims. And she was like, um, 
how about green? And I was like, green? Oh yeah, sure, we can use green. I don't really use green that often. And then I found this mint green pastel color, which I just thought was everything. So I thought I had to really use that. And um, yeah, then I started going to town. So I initially wanted to have the kitchen on the first wall that we did, but there wasn't like... I don't know why the counters don't snap to the angled walls, but they don't. So there was space between the counters, which honestly just looked horrible. So I decided not to do that. And we put it on the uh, biggest wall here. It gave us a bit more space. And uh, then I had to find some other windows to bring in the natural light. And uh, yeah, I think the kitchen is really cute looking. So this house is consistent of one bathroom. We have a big urban area here with the kitchen and dining room area. And then we have a bathroom as well as a bedroom. So um, it's a one bath, one bed house. But it's big enough that you can expand if you want to. You just have to uh, work around the the stonework outside but uh, that shouldn't be a problem I mean it's just moving things around really it might take a bit of time because it did for me but you know uh, should be fine but working with the mint green pastel color here I knew that bringing in accents of a darker green would really help accent that color also splashes of white and black as well is a really good way to uh, give that modern feel Talking about giving away tips here, I also talked about this in my last video. Uh, people have been asking for some tips and tricks on how you do certain builds, like decorational chips and stuff like that. Again, I'm not an interior designer, but if that is something that people want to see me do some videos on tips and tricks when you decorate, I would definitely definitely consider that and making videos on that on different uh, designing tips and stuff like that like we we do in live streams uh, and make official videos on that because I do have some small tips and tricks and I do actually research this type of stuff and look in magazines and stuff like that to figure out what can make a groom groom room look even better and greater than the eye actually perceives it to be um, and we talked about this we've talked about this in live streams a lot but looking into the uh, like the living room space here yeah, it's a great example so when you have a green color what you would normally do to accent that color is bring in a dark aubergine like color because the purple or red is what accents green but seeing that we are working with a mint green color here, which is very muted and very pastely, pastely? Yeah, we made up a new word. Uh, you have to bring in something that doesn't look so harsh. And uh, I did that in... Oh, we're just changing his clothes. It's because uh, people say he's naked all the time, so I just changed his clothes. Uh, so he looks naked again, uh, but yeah bringing in a color that is more muted like the pastel green But still catches your eyes in the orange couch is a great way for you to Really utilize that green color, but again catch Make your eyes go to somewhere else if you've ever been in a hotel room. They do this all the time so they will probably have this grand big bed but then we'll have like a sleeping cover that is another color or this really dark color or have a chair in the corner that is a bright color or something that really catches your eyes. That's something they do a lot, especially in hotel rooms. And uh, that's what I like to do when I design houses in The Sims 4 as well, especially these modern types of houses. Um, so again, tell me in the comment section down below if you would like to see some videos on tips and tricks in different styles of builds because I will definitely consider it. It's, uh, it's a really common question I get and uh, if people are up for it, I will definitely look into it. We have a bathroom here, it's not the biggest one, we're working with weird angles again. 
uh, but I tried to keep it very minimalistic. We're working with a lot of grey turns in the bathroom and that's because it is an underground build so I wanted to keep some elements of the um, of the outside inside so we have a lot of stonework in there and and stone flooring as well going into the bar bedroom there we go I was just about to say bathroom but going into the bedroom I'm gonna delete one of the um, windows here the one that you can see on the right lower corner we're gonna delete that because it just was in the way to be honest uh, and we're gonna place the bedroom uh, in a different angle. So I initially wanted to have the bedroom up against the wall that we have the uh, the doorway on but that just it didn't work for me so I decided to go this way instead and putting in some nice pictures uh, to really bring the room together just to also do something different with the fox picture so we're bringing in again this element of orange which complements this uh, green color really well again I didn't want to have a green couch like we have or orange couch like we have out in the living room space so I decided to go with this more turquoise couch which again really pops because it is a darker brighter color than the walls and because we're working with gray floorings and and whites and blacks as our main accent colors uh, and main furniture colors it really just makes it pop um, I tried something different here but yeah again working on an angle in The Sims 4 is really difficult so things just didn't fit in as I wanted but I made this little entertainment unit here there's nothing really too special going on in, in the bedroom I mean it's very very basic but again it's like it looks nice I'm uh, I'm liking it uh, and yeah I think that is that's it so we're gonna jump in to the video tour now and here we have it again I really love this shot and that's why I used it in the intro as well because it really shows you that it just looks like a sloping hill uh, which I really enjoyed and uh, think looks really cool and that's definitely what I was going for so remember if you want to get this build it is on the gallery right now you can search my origin ID which is Aubrey to find every single thing that I have done you can also use the link in the description down below and while you're down there go check out my discord server as well and why not uh, hit that subscribe button and like button if you enjoyed this video uh, I'm really glad to be back at doing YouTube here and uh, I really hope that you you guys have missed me because I know I've been absent for a little over a month now uh, but honestly it was also a bit nice to have a bit of a break from YouTube so it doesn't feel like work but it feels like the hobby that it should be um, and yeah as we take a look at the bedroom here it's something different I haven't really used this color before so I'm really really liking how it looks and uh, I hope you guys do too but again, join my Discord server, there's tons of different channels, channels out on there and uh, different opportunities for you to get in touch with me. Sometimes we can just hang out in the voice chat, uh, you can ask me questions and all that kind of good stuff. But seeing that this is the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big like, subscribe and a share. Uh, and I will see you next time for another video. So have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world.